All right, we got five days until fight night. All right, it is a fight week. I'm going to bring you guys a video each and every day. Okay, probably multiple videos. And then after that, we're going to focus on some new content. But let me do something I don't, I don't really do that often on the channel. I'm going to read you something I found online because I want your opinion. Tell me what you think in the comment section, okay? Golovkin hasn't looked his spine-chilling self in the last two outings. And with Canelo growing and maturing fight after fight after fight i can't help but agree with the narrative that the timing is right for the mexican challer challenger if golovkin walks down canelo in the mid rounds sharp counters and my battery sign sharp counters and quick head movement could prove to be the antidote to golovkin's main weaponry with canelo looking strong at the weight and able to shake off the Kazakh's power, Golovkin has been easy to hit in his last few fights, okay? And despite escaping unscathed with a 37-0 record, they're basically going to go on and say he looked every bit of his age. You know, he's basically looking old, easy to hit, and, you know, Canelo's going to go in there and, and get it done. Now, uh, a lot of people are talking about, you know, Canelo looking like a welterweight, but I think it's a huge mistake. And I'll make a whole separate video. Shout out Edwin. He just texted me about this uh, to Edwin. And I'll make a whole new video about that later. Okay. Probably tonight or tomorrow. But let, let's go. Quickly, I want to go over the weigh-in. We'll, we're going to start back, you know, uh, with the original fight. Just to remind you guys. And then we'll get into the current weights. But uh, Gennady uh, Gennady seven-day weigh-in. All right. <clears throat> let's take a look at the current 30-day weigh-in versus the old. Okay, Canelo 167.4, Golovkin 168.3, okay? Now, Golovkin previous 30-day weigh-in for Canelo, he was at 170.2.3, basically 170 pounds, okay? You know, uh, now he's a little bit lighter going into the rematch than he was in the original fight. Now, Canelo, I believe, did not pretend participate in the 30-day weigh-in i couldn't find anything on it but i guess he had to you know according to the wbc you know they got that 176 pound limit the 10 percent limit and then on the the seven day weigh-in it's the five percent so he had to participate i would imagine um but you know going back even further triple g was 165 for kel brook danny jacobs uh and i think what 164 for wade uh 165 for david lemieux you know you get the point you know and in his last another important note in his last fight with vanez marty rosen he was 165.9 okay and that was just a while back, you know, single to my day, whatever, uh, you know, but typically Triple G, look, he comes in heavier for the Canelo fights than any other fight. But also keep in mind, you know, he's a very active fighter. Uh, he was a little heavier going into the original Canelo fight because there was a longer break. Because remember, you had the Jacobs fight, and then after that, Golden Boy basically shelved Gennady Golovkin and said, no, you can't fight Billy Joe Saunders, so he put on a little more weight. He was inactive, so he entered the original Canelo camp a little heavy. You know, I think he's looking a lot better this go-around, much better than the original fight. And, and Canelo is looking completely different. I mean, what the hell? Like, I, I got to talk about it. You know, I mean, I'll just touch on it for a minute, but, I mean, the transition, the transition here. I think I have a picture somewhere real quick. The transition from you know the original fight to now is crazy like where is it i know i got a picture right here i mean just look at this i mean it's not natural and i don't and i'm not trying to beat a dead horse here but the real question okay the real question is it is it going to be effective you know what i mean is it is it going to be effective okay so the WBC seven-day weigh-in, uh, Canelo at 163.8 and Gennady Golovkin at 163.2. Okay, so I started hearing all this clickbait all over YouTube about how, you know, Canelo's lighter and Golovkin's coming in heavy and click, 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 click. There's like 10 commercial breaks in like an eight-minute video. The last one I watched, I'm not even joking. There was like 10 commercials on an eight-minute video. And you guys have to uh, just understand you want the real news come here. You want the facts come here. You know, it, seriously, like these other channels, man, God, like I don't even why I don't even click on them anymore. You know, you know, there's a few of them out there that I like, you know, um, give them a shout out later, but uh, just don't believe the BS. Just don't believe it. So now, yes, Canelo is coming in lighter, but we'll talk about that further in another video. OK, now I want to kind of go back because it's kind of a recap today. 
Okay, looking at the punch stats, okay? Looking at the punch. Let me get to it real quick. You know, we'll, we'll, you can eh, say study the scorecard. Let's see. Punch stats. Where are you at? Right here. Okay, CompuBox punch it. Now, looking at the punch stats, okay? I just watched a video with Adelaide Bird, and she said it is quantity over quality. Her exact words verbatim were, I give a fighter the round if he is more active in throwing more punches, regardless if the other fighter lands the more meaningful punches like isn't that the definition of effective aggression i mean that's exactly what she said so based on that statement why didn't she give gennady golovkin the rounds because he was the more active fighter gennady golovkin throwing 703 punches canelo throwing 505 okay they had canelo landing okay at a uh what was a th uh, at a 33 percent rate now gennady golovkin only 31 but when you throw 200 Okay, 200 less punches, you're going to have a higher, you know, landing percentage, right? I mean, it'd be like if he threw 300 punches or maybe 400 punches, he'd be landing at like 60 and 70 percent. Okay, so, it, you know, you don't have to be like some brainiac mathematician to understand it. You know, it's basic math, you know, so... But again, Adelaide Bird saying, you know, whoever throws the more punches, whoever looks the busiest, I'm going to give them the round. OK. And how do you score a fight anyway? Effective aggression, defense, you know, defense, landed punches, ring generalship. I think Triple G applied all categories, dominated all categories in, in, in most rounds. Now, getting back to the weights, I think both guys will come in around 170 okay around 170 you know um and i do think that uh, uh, golovkin will be you know he'll be the heavier fighter I, I really do so you know um and and really well i think it'll probably be the first time canelo has ever been in the ring with someone heavier than him right I mean, even like Chavez, I'm sure we know Chavez, he had to get down to that 164.5. But, you know, is it going to, I'm just, my, my mind is baffled. You know, what do I think? You know, I don't think it's smart. I don't think it's a smart idea. I don't think it's a good idea for Team Canelo. I think they're making a huge mistake, you know, and I know what they're going for. They're going for, you know, speed and they're going for, you know, flashy punches and combinations, right? Like I keep telling you guys, you want to see the fight? Go watch Sugar Ray Leonard and Hagler. You know, just go watch that fight, and I'm pretty sure that's what you're going to get. Oscar De La Hoya is saying it's going to be the fight of the decade. I hope, you know, I hope so. I hope it lives up to the hype. But let me read you some very interesting stats real quick. These are right here. This is from CompuBox. Canelo lands just 11 punches, okay, per round, seven of them power punches. Golovkin lands 40% of total punches, number one among active fighters, okay, landing 40% of his total punches. Very accurate, okay. Uh, right here, Golovkin lands 11 jabs per round, number one among active fighters. Canelo throws 42 punches per round compared to Golovkin's 65. Now, why am I showing you this? Okay, hopefully you're still with me. I want to see after the fight how many punches Canelo threw. Because typically Canelo throws right here. They're talking. He throws 42, you know, roughly in, in the neighborhood of 50 punches around. 42, 50, somewhere in there. You know, if he's lighter and he's faster and, you know, he's busier, things like that. I want to see how that number changes. You know, is it going to get up there to like a, like a shit, like a Pacquiao, you know, throwing like 80, 90, 100 punches around, you know, like a welterweight? We'll see. But even if he can do that, okay, even if he can increase that punch, you know, output, I don't think the stamina is going to be there for him. I think his stamina is his, it, that's his worst enemy, okay? And you can trim down, you can slim down, you can do what you want. You know, yes, it will improve your stamina. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, you lose all that, that, you know, muscle mass, that bulk, that weight, that water weight. I'm sure, yeah, you know, you're a little lighter on your feet. You know, you, you catch your breath easier, that kind of thing. But I, I don't think he can handle that constant pressure from Golovkin. And I believe Golovkin is going to apply constant pressure. So shout out to Arturios Boxing. Great channel. You know, he had it right here. Golovkin 181, Canelo 82. Okay, punches, uh, punch count per round. So great channel. Go check them out. You know, I, I visit that channel on a, on a daily basis. I'm a big fan. But uh, yeah, like I said, right here, you got Canelo. That's the current way in. He's looking good. He's looking good. But I think, you know, he's he just, he's going he's gonna to pack on some water weight. You guys will see. You know, he's going to pack on some water weight. Gennady Golovkin looking very good. Way better than the original fight. So 
you know, I'm excited to, to see what happens. So right here, the HBO, I'm going to probably do another quick review on the HBO 24-7. You know, Golovkin says, you know, when you don't respect your TV networks, when you don't give a damn about your fans, okay? Canelo says, so he makes people believe that he's all about the good fights when he's not. And he goes on to say, well, I fought more champions. I did this. I did that. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you could argue the resumes. I mean, you know, I, I've I've actually broken them down before, so you know we'll get into that later. I don't I don't want to make the video too long, but um, yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it at that. I just wanted to get caught up on everything and kind of touch base with you guys again and let you know a video a day. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I really want to really just delve deep into the whole weight thing. I know I'm kind of like stuttering and stammering on that topic right now because I don't want to say too much on it, but I really uh, want to focus on that, you know, the, the fight plan, because to me, it's clear as day. It is clear as day what they're doing. So, you know, and what do you guys think about that article I read earlier, you know, with the diminishing Golovkin and, you know, they believe that Canelo's head movement, his footwork is going to be the antidote for his power. And, and it, I didn't read it, but it went on to talk about how, you know, according to an insider, Canelo's going to work the body because they think Golovkin is soft in the body and they're going to they're just going to go for the body head movement. Get out of there. You know what I mean? Grab, hold, spin out, turn. And we didn't see a lot of holding in the original fight. OK. And, uh, you know, look for that, too. I, I, I expect, you know, when when Canelo gets up on the ropes, he's not going to stay there anymore and do the whole rope a dope thing. I think he's going to clinch. So, you know, that that's uh, one of my bullet points on my official prediction I'm going to talk about. I think we're going to see a little bit more clinching in the rematch. Well, anyway, guys, what do you think? Leave it below.